What's up, Film Jammers? This week, I wanted to share something that I've been searching for for a while. The perfect director's or client's monitor cage to use while filming on set. Flashback 20 years ago, I used to actually use an old tube TV that I would bring on set with me to monitor for my HVX200 out of the component ports. That was crazy. But now there are so many portable options that you can literally handhold when you're filming on set. So let's compare a few of these director's monitor cages to see who's the queen bee. Having a portable monitor on set when you're directing makes life a lot easier. Do you need it? Maybe not, but once you have that little portable monitor, especially a wireless one, you don't wanna go back to staring over the AC's shoulder to see the footage. Once you get a taste of that sweet honeysuckle, you don't wanna go back to that salty snail juice. <laughs> so for a while, I was using this Marshall 9-inch monitor. It was a great monitor, had nice colors, but it was a bit large and a bit outdated in its features. Now this monitor was too large for most cages, but what I could do is attach it to the top of a light stand using the quarter 20 screw on the bottom of it or at least I used to be able to until somebody broke the quarter 20 screw. Now this monitor does have the option to put a V-mount battery plate on the back, which is nice, but its execution is just a little bit, well, janky. I like that this monitor has a lot of screen real estate being nine inches, but it also makes it just a bit too big for handholding and to use as a director monitor. So I did use this Marshall monitor set up on a light stand for about four or five years and it worked, but I yearned for something more. Enter Small HD. They came out with very nice small portable monitors that you could use to view footage on set. I have their 502, their DP7, and their 702 monitors, and they've been really solid for me. So similar to the Marshall, I was also using these monitors on light stands, so not really a director's cage, but I could monitor my footage on set, and I would use that quarter 20 screw in the bottom of the 702 monitor. There's also some other quarter 20 mounts on the side, so you could attach a Terra Deck there if you wanted to. They make a Sony NPF dummy adapter, which is the native mount on the camera, and that enables you to use V-mount batteries with the monitor, and you can last almost all day on one battery. The small onboard NPF battery batteries just die too quickly for the way I like to shoot. So using a light stand and putting say a 702 monitor on top can work, but it's not ideal if you wanna have your client to be able to walk around viewing the footage on a director's cage. Putting the Terra Deck and other accessories like the battery onto the monitor can tip the light stand over. So it's not optimal. So what else is out there? There isn't a ton of information on director's monitor cages for filmmakers. So what I did was I put together a couple of the options that I personally purchased, and I'm gonna go over some of the features and some of the things I like and don't like about those director's cages. So let's check out some options. So in my quest to find a great director's cage and director's monitor, I came across this deal for this small HD focus bolt sidekick. This little five inch monitor is also a receiver that enables you to take a wireless transmission from either a Teradek Bolt 500, 1000, or 3000 transmitter. Hmm, pretty neat. The kit also comes with these convenient handles and this beautiful, luxurious neck strap. So you can wear it on set. And action, kids. Just kidding, you can't have a that kind of content on YouTube anymore. <laughs> There's no kids. It runs on just one battery and it's very lightweight, which I like. When I have jobs where my clients are there and they need to see the footage, I like to give this to them because they can take it and be separated from the rest of the crew and still see what's going on. And they love that. And for their happiness alone makes this a worthy investment. Yes. The extreme light weight and size of this small HD Teradek Bolt Sidekick is one of the things I really like about it. As I tend to take it on shoots more often than not because it's so convenient and so small, I can literally put it in the camera bag. Just take out my two sticks of bubble gum and bloop. And it's really nice to not have to hook up another Teradek as it's all integrated into this veritable tiny package. So overall, the small HD Focus Bolt Sidekick is a nice option if you're already using Teradek devices. The downsides are it doesn't have any SDI inputs or HDMI inputs, except for a little micro HDMI down there, but it's missing full-size outputs and inputs as well on the monitor. It's really meant to be used specifically as a wireless Teradek receiver and not necessarily a fully functional monitor on set. So it's not really as versatile as some other monitors on the market. So definitely keep that in mind. This little guy retails for about $2,000 and it's often on sale for around $12,000 50 or $1,500. The price of love. Mm. Now, while I love the small size and the simplicity of the Small HD Focus Bolt Sidekick, there are times when I need more versatility in my director's monitor for my projects. I need more cage. 
Whoa. Now this is a purchase that was a bit painful, but I had to do it. I finally had to get a good director's monitor cage. So I bought the Shape Director's Cage for $760. Now rewinding a little bit, I had actually bought the Wooden Camera Cage V2, and I really thought that that was gonna be my cage, but it just had so many different screws to attach and so many little pieces. And when I finally put it together, it kind of bent and it just, for me, didn't work great. And that was $300, it wasn't cheap. So I made the wooden cage work for me for a couple of years, but I finally decided to move on to something more sturdy for my larger projects. So I laid down more than 700 clams and I bought the Shape Director's Cage. And I have to say, from the first minute that I opened this thing, I knew that I had made the right choice. After using so many less than ideal options that I felt like I was always compromising, this was exactly what I'd been looking for. It was like I had been eating Waffle House pancakes my entire life and then Patrick Swayze lifted me up in a cloud of fluffy banana pancakes up in heaven. Unlike the wooden camera cage, which was quite frustrating to assemble, for me anyway, the shape director's cage just takes a couple of minutes to put together. You literally just have to attach the side handles, screw your monitor on, and you're done. And almost every piece on the shape cage is adjustable with the quick release screws. If you wanna tilt the handles a bit on the rosette, just press the side buttons. Tilt the screen back, boom, super simple. And it feels extremely solid. Not flimsy at all. I feel like you could bludgeon somebody with this thing and it would still operate great. Bludgeon. Legend. I'd rather go into battle with this than a spear, I think. Step away from the treasure. National treasure, that is. I'm Nick Cage, and I approve this message. This is a great cage. <laughs> and then you could be like, hmm, that was a nice fight scene. Good choreography. Now, most of the time, I'm putting my small HD 702 monitor onto the shape cage because I like the flexibility of this monitor. It has both SDI inputs and outputs, and it also has HDMI ins and outs. So I can run a Teradek into this monitor, and I can also loop out of this monitor. And the shape cage has a delightful cheese plate for attaching your Teradek and other wireless accessories. It's pretty extremely amazingly well thought out. The shape cage also has a V-mount plate integrated into the unit, which is another reason for the higher cost. The wooden cage camera cage, for example, does not have that V-mount plate integrated into the device. And what might be my personal favorite feature of this cage is this little cushion on the bottom removes to reveal a secret stash of blood diamonds. <laughs> or a baby pin receptor to attach it to a C-stand. Also pretty cool. What a happy little device. <laughs> So there are a variety of options of director's cages out there, but the reason I put this video together was I didn't see a lot of people comparing cages or giving much input on the different cages out there. So hopefully seeing some of the different features of these setups is helpful. With these monitors and director's cages, I do feel like you pay for what you get. The shape cage is almost double the cost of the wooden camera cage, but to me, you're paying for a lot of that sturdier build quality, the V-mount plate that's integrated into the unit, and just the really well thought out design on the shape cage. It's really worth it to have that sturdiness and peace of mind when I'm filming on some of my larger shoots and I don't want to worry about the cage not performing or not having the features I need for those types of shoots. I would buy it again and marry it if I could. And if you don't need the full cage and the flexibility of the shape cage, I would recommend going for the Small HD Focus Bolt. It's a great option, especially if you're already invested into the Teradek ecosystem. So you're basically getting another Teradek receiver with the monitor integrated and the handles and the cage setup for less than the cost of just a Teradek receiver alone. So it's definitely something to consider. And if you just wanna screw one of your monitors onto a light stand, throw a bag of batteries on the side, that can work too. I definitely would recommend experimenting a little bit with some monitor setups and different cages and see what works best for you and your shooting style. All right, well, let me know if there's another director's or client monitor cage out there that you love, maybe that I missed. All of the director's cages and monitors in this video are systems that we personally own. So I hope that our personal experience using them was helpful in your search to find a director's monitor that works for you. I'm Christian with Film Jams. Make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every... <laughs> Tuesday and Friday. I'm Nick Cage, and I approve this me No. I'm Nick Cage. Hey, it's not British. That was a really bad Nicolas Cage impression. But once you get that little boy around your neck, no. Jay, can I bludgeon you with this?